I'm Mike Watt. I'm from Pedro, and I'm going to be your Spielmeister tonight. Um, we got some new video from Pavement, and I'm going to play with my uh, crew of the Flying Saucer. Evan's going to come sing a song, too. Um, but first, we got this England band called uh, Radiohead, and uh, they got an album called The Bends, and uh, here's a song called Fake Plastic Trees. <laughs> the idea of sort of Putting, putting us in the carriage is like, well, what are we going to do, you know? Like, for most of the song, people don't, we're not really playing much. So I'm playing acoustic guitar, but that's very boring to watch. So um, we thought we'd sort of not be completely serious and yeah. sit in the carriage. Hey, that was an Alaska song off the record. Um, you know, um, I'm going to be back later and playing with... Uh, my crew of the Flying Saucer, and I'm going to get to show you some uh, video that uh, I did with uh, D Boone when we were Minuteman, and um, I'm going to uh, show you now this video by Pavement off their new album Wowie Zowie, and it's called Rattled by the Rush. And, and I'm Bonet, and we're from Oasis, and you're watching 120 Minutes on MTV. <laughs> <laughs> Even more from England. <laughs> There's that's a uh, waste coming up with um, Spearhead, and we're gonna play something from me and D Boone did, like I said before. Uh, is Ronald Reagan? I think he's in this one, and uh, I didn't get sued for that. I'm gonna be uh, working this machine for you. Uh, with my crew of the Flying Saucer later on and um, there's another England band called Catherine Wheel <laughs> and uh, they sing one with Tanya from Belly and uh, this first video is a song called Way Down. <sighs> it's the most ridiculous part of being in a band that you can ever experience mm -hmm. is making a video. It's horrible. The last one we done for, we had to redo, but we didn't have to redo the Supersonic video, but we did for America. God knows why. Um, that was probably the most enjoyable one I've ever done because it didn't involve, it involved about six hours of miming as a band and another two days of walking around getting drunk. Surprise! Another uh, English band. Um, Oasis with an English video of Supersonic. I'm Mike Watt. I'm the Spielmeister for you tonight, 120 minutes. Uh, we're going to play some morphine, some uh, belly, um, and some uh, a video from a Pedro band with me and D Boone and Georgie called Minute Man. And uh, after the break, I'm going to play uh, with my crew of the Flying Saucer live. <laughs> I'm Lewis Largen. Be sure to check. Hi, we're, we're Ellie, Ellie, and you're watching 120, 120 minutes, minutes on, on MTV. Oh, my new toes. I was going to do a blow by, but next stop, 120 minutes. Big train. Big train, do you want to ride my big train? Well, big train coming out the tunnel down the track. Small transportation, there's nothing that it lacks. I don't know if I'm coming, no, I ain't going back. I'm a long and ride a big train. Big train.
uh, Morphine's Honey White. That's off uh, record, Jay, they just put out. Now, later on, I'm going to be uh, with Evan. He's going to sing with me and my crew of the Flying Saucer. But after the uh, break here, I'm going to show you this video we made over 10 years ago. Yeah, we had the president in there shooting at us. And, uh, yeah, I didn't get sued for that. And uh, we thought it was a, a flyer for the telephone pole here on MTV. So uh, check it out. Hey, I'm Mike Watt, Spielmeister for 120 Minutes. Um, that was me, George, and Ed. Edward from Ohio with the uh, fire hose, something I did after D. Boone was killed in a van wreck. I'm probably new for a lot of you people, but I started um, when I was 12, when I met D. Boone, his mom made me play bass a long time ago, and we did this band, Minuteman, when punk rock came around. and. Uh, we made, uh, we found out about these things called videos, which, uh, yeah, was a trippy way to get our band known to other people, we thought, you know, that didn't live in our town and couldn't come to the gig, and so when we could tour, maybe they'd show up. We made this uh, strange album called Double Nickels on the Dime. It turned out to be our best record, inspired by the Hooskers with their uh, Zen Arcade. See, they came and recorded that after we had an album done. So we wrote all these songs and came up with another record. That's why it says, take that, Hooskers, in the middle. And we came up with this uh, video, This Ain't No Picnic, and uh, shot it in some, uh, I think it was in the Sepulveda uh, Dam, and uh, had bullets flying and stuff. We made it for $440, and I think we were uh, nominated for Best New Video here, but lost to uh, a new wave band called uh, Kajid King. Yeah, Kajigugu, Kajigugu. And uh, here, here we are, me, D-Bone, and Georgie. Uh, this ain't no picnic.
an explosion and... Well, I guess that's all, sir. Hey, I'm Mike Watt. I'm from Pedro, and it's the second hour of MTV's 120 Minutes. Evan's gonna come sing with me and my crew, the Flying Saucer. We're gonna show all kinds of videos. I guess this is the, uh, the late night part. I mean, I go to bed at nine, so. <laughs> but you guys probably know about this stuff. Uh, guided by Voices and Nirvana and more. But you know, you know who I really miss is Patty Smith, you know. But anyway, here's Belly and Super Connected. They were looking for a female bass player that could also sing, and I was playing guitar at the time. And Chris saw me at a club and asked me if I could play bass. What did I say? Get you away said from me, you, you said, what is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, no, I won't I go out I, with you. And I said, no, really. <laughs> I said, no, I will uh, not go out with you. Yeah, I know you want day. me, but uh, come on. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> and so at that time, I wasn't interested in playing bass. I wanted Kelly. to play heavy metal guitar <laughs> with an all girl band I was trying to start. I was playing punk rock before that, but they gave me a demo. Chris gave me a demo that night of Star. And I drove home from the club. In like three minutes, I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, this is Mike Watt and his band playing a song called Piss Bottle Man. This is the crew of the Flying Saucer with Piss Bottle Man. Oh, man. 
Hey, I'm Mike Watt. That was uh, Firehose, me with uh, Georgie and Edward doing Hear Me, uh, which I was doing for seven and a half years before I did this wrestling record, Ball Hog or Tugboat. Got a bunch of people in the ring, and they had to deal with me and my bass. And uh, kind of interesting what ended up in the Petri dish there. <laughs> uh, insecticide, record by Nirvana. Uh, we got guys, um, you know, some friends of mine, Chris and Dave. I just uh, saw Chris a couple of weeks ago. I went and uh, walked with him in this March. We were going to go tear up the contract. We walked down to the uh, Republican headquarters there and had our say. It's like a group of about 200 misfits. Remind me of the old days, you know. Dave's got Foo Fighters now. And... Uh, yeah, yeah, this is intense with uh, Will and Nate from uh, Sunny Day Real Estates and Pat Smear, my old friend from the 70s terms. A band without which we would not be here. Here's Nirvana's Sliver. About uh, four to 15 years ago, actually, uh, I, I just moved to Dallas and I opened up the newspaper one day and there was a story about this televangelist, Oral Roberts, who. Uh, operates out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And he was uh, claiming that the couple of days before that, he had seen uh, a 900-foot-tall Jesus out at this construction site where they were building this project, or they were trying to. And he was out totally out of money, and they didn't know whether they were going to be able to finish it. And this 900-foot-tall Jesus didn't have anything else to say to Oral except, uh, don't worry about the cash. It's coming. So uh, I thought that, you know, it was just a funny story, and I decided to name myself after it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, I'm Mike Watt, Spielmeister from Pedro for MTV, 120 Minutes, and uh, MC 900 Jesus, uh, one step ahead of the spider. Uh, God, you rolled that fast, Holmes. <laughs> It was uh, the Fotopia dude, I was told, made the uh, video. Um, there's this thing, a uh, video coming by this band named Toadies. Now, uh, Minuteman had a song called Toadies off Double Nickels that uh, I wrote after reading Shostakovich's uh, memoirs because uh, the guys who worked for Stalin were called Toadies. They weren't on top, but they were just a little bit above you, and they let you know it with the uh, heel of their boot. So, uh, Here's toadies. Stick around. The show. Hey, Edward, <laughs> it was neat seeing you <laughs> singing. That's uh, when in front of our practice pad, we uh, practice in uh, a gun pit, Fort MacArthur, down in Pedro and Battery Farley. And uh, we made that video for free. The French TV people came there and you notice there's no chords in the guitars and stuff. And <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, when they first played it, they called us Firehouse on the MTV here. And uh, I think they fixed that after the uh, other <laughs> The Raleigh, the great uh, power bound. I think they're on my team. <laughs> yeah, they are. Team player. Um, let's see here. Toadies, yeah. They got this record, Rubberneck. And, uh, you know, I don't really know a lot about them, but I know about this song that I wrote called Toadies. I told you about that. But uh, you guys decide, okay? Here's um, Possum Kingdom by Toadies. Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Rat. We're from Ned's Atomic Dustbin, and you're watching 120 Minutes on MTV. Mike Watt here from Pedro, your Spielmeister for tonight. Next week, you're going to get Ned's Atomic Dustbin and both their bases. Uh, 
I forgot what I've said before, but it was something about taping the show so you don't have to stay up late and uh, get to work in the morning. See it the next day. We got yet another English band, Wolfgang Press and uh, Funky Little Demon album and a uh, song called Christianity. Carol. 